you know, a black man from Nigeria to lead his movement, Jesus Christ movement. So with that is sir, we are ready for you, sir. And we'll rise up and give honor to the glory of him and to go back clapping for Jesus. There's no time between now and Bible study. I'm just thinking, I'll just, uh, in a brief talk, I'm going to pray for you now. Because between now and Bible study time is, is a one hour, 13 minutes. So there's no time at all. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Almighty Father, we worship and bless your name. We give glory, honor, and adoration to you. We give honor, worship to you. Thank you, Lord, for bringing your children to this moment, the last moment. Lord, we are bringing their needs unto you, their personal needs, family needs. We are bringing their battles unto you. We are bringing their desires unto you. Father, we are asking, you will grant unto them their goodly desires. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Your word gives us sufficient promises. And we are entering into these promises to claim them for the manifestation of the Lord. God, grant us the manifestation of your promises. Cause them to be real. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yes, we thank the Lord at this time. We thank the Lord at this time that he has seen us too successful. Uh, the mes this message is supposed to come at nine o'clock. And I've been ready from nine o'clock because that's how we design it, to give enough time for Bible study. So to take it fully, it will conflict with Bible study. So I will just manage the time because after this, we'll be going straight to the Bible study. Jesus loves you and would solve all your problems. He desires to solve all your problems. Yes, bring all your problems to God. He will answer you. He will solve all of them. And that's why we are here. Jesus is almighty. He can do all things. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said, I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. I am your reward. I am your completeness. Everything you are looking for is me. I can give it. And I am willing to give it. Yes. I know a man could answer like these kings of the Bible. King Ahasuerus and Herod. Ahasuerus answered Esther. What do you want? Ask me, even to the half of my kingdom, I will give you. Herod said the same thing to the daughter of Herodias. How much God? God has all things to give to you. Everything you desire, he has brought you to his presence. The Bible tells us, 
in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 32. Romans chapter 8, verse 32. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? What else can God not give? He that gave Jesus, that is the best gift, the greatest gift, the hardest gift. If he could do that, what can he not do? So, the Lord is ready for you. He's ready for you for in all areas, all areas of your desire and of your craft. He is ready. He is ready to give you full salvation. For the book, the Bible tells us in John chapter 10, I read, Verse 10, yes, it says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Jesus is ready to give you life more abundantly. You have gotten something already, but he wants to add to it. He wants to make you satisfied and full. He wants to make you joyful. In fact, Jesus Christ said in chapter 16 of John, John chapter 16, he said in verse 23, to verse 24. And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. He taught all, have ye asked nothing in my name? Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. God wants you to be very happy. That when you go back home, you will be testifying with great joy that you have been in the presence of God, that he did this and did that for you. So he's saying, please ask what will make you joyful, that when you go back, you will testify to this conference, that God really can, that God met with you. Ask. When Hannah went back after the conference in, in Shiloh, she went back with a testimony because God satisfied her heart. God assured her her desire was granted. And now God is bringing the same to you. Hannah returned the other, the other conference and testified to the great power of God. Before Eli, she testified and said, For this child, I prayed. When I came in the last conference, I met with God. The Lord granted me my desire. The Lord did wonderfully to me. Yes, in the book of First Samuel, I read chapter 1, verse 9. First Samuel chapter 1, verse 9. Then said Elkanah, her husband, to her, Hannah, why weepest thou? And where cast it down? I mean, where it is thou not? And where is thy heart grief? Am not I better to thee than ten sons? So Hannah, verse 9, rose up. After they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk, now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord 
and wept so. And the Lord, and, the, and she vowed a vow and said, O oh Lord of hosts, if thou will indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember and remember me and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spake in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long will thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I am a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Count not thine handmaid for a daughter of Belia, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hit at all. Then, Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. And she said, Let thine hand find grace in thy son. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. That's what I am saying. It is your turn at this time that you are in the presence of the Lord. Ella, the high priest is sitting by, and you are before the Lord. The Lord is among us. The Lord is in his holy temple. I don't know what is grieving your heart. What is the pain of your heart? What is the taunting of your enemy? Which way are they mocking at your life that you want the mockery to be taken away? Which way are you dry and you want your life to become fresh? Which way are you fretful and you want God to assure you? Which way are you oppressed and you want liberty and deliverance? You are in the presence of God. You are in the temple of God. Eli is ready to bless you. Eli is ready to bless you. We want to make a difference in your life. We want to add to you, add our faith to you. We want the blessings of God to be full in your life, that you will go forth here rejoicing, saying, I came to the conference in North Carolina. Jesus met with me and took away the burden of my life. My burden rolled away. I became new. I became lightened. My face was no longer ashamed. The oppression of the devil got disappeared from my life. That is what the Lord is willing. Ask and receive that your joy may be full. That's what God is saying. And in the next conference, Ella and uh, Hannah came back. Yes, what she requested had been done in verse 21. Yes. And the man in, in the next conference, Ella came back after she had the, the miracle had taken place. I read from verse 21. And the man Elkanah and all his household went up to offer unto the Lord the yearly sacrifice and his vow. But Hannah went not up, for she said unto her husband, I will not go up until the child be weaned. Then I will, I will bring him, that he may appear before the Lord and there abide forever. Answer has come. Answer has come. Your answer will come. Your answer will come. We shall hear the testimony about you. You shall testify. You shall testify. Our God will do it for you. Yes. That is it. And Elkan, her husband, said unto her, Do what she did good, tarry until 
thou have went in. Only the Lord established his word. So the woman abode and gave her son sap until she went, she went him. And when she had went him, she took him up with her with three bullocks and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young and they slew a bullock and brought the child to Ella. And she said, Oh, my Lord, as thy son, as thy son live, my Lord, I am the woman. I am the woman. I am the grieved woman. I am the woman that stood by thee here. I am the woman that came to the conference. I am the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the Lord. For this child I prayed. And the Lord had given me my petition which I asked of him. Somebody there is going to give a testimony. Somebody there is going to give a testimony. Your name is in the register of testimony. You are going to say, this conference, this conference has transformed my case. This conference has wiped away my tears. This conference has taken away my shame. All that devil that would not leave my family, that planted himself in my family, he has been rooted up. He has been rooted up. The Lord has smitten my enemy. Yes, this testimony shall be yours. All those hopelessness, the Lord shall revive them. You will have hope. You will have hope. Because of the power of God. For this child, I pray. For this child, I pray. And the Lord has given me the petition that I asked of him. Therefore, also, I have given him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he is now the Lord's portion. He will serve the Lord. And the Lord accepted that child. That child is somewhere. That child serves the Lord, the prophet of Israel. That child anointed David, king. That child did marvelously. He ruled the kingdom of Israel. He ruled, he governed them. He was the one that appointed king over the people. So I am saying, blessing is coming. Everybody get ready, receive your blessing. I say receive in the name of Jesus. Let God visit your life. Let God visit your life. Let God visit your life. Let all sicknesses disappear. Let the Lord destroy them in your body. Let the Lord destroy them in your body. Let the Lord remove them in your body. I destroy every reproach in your life. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, release your power. My God, release your grace. Let the yoke be broken. Deliver your children. Let your miracle take place. Oh Lord, do it. Oh Lord, do it. Let your angels move around the come. Let your angel move around everywhere. Where your people are gathered. Let answers come to their cry. Let answers come to their cry. I break your yokes. I lose you now. I said your yokes are broken. All those powers that will not leave you. All those authorities of darkness that will not leave you. They must go now. I said go now. I said leave them now. Disappear. Get out from the light. Get out from their life. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, lay your hand upon them. God heal them. God heal them. God heal them. Deliver them. Rescue them. Set them free. In Jesus' name. We pray. Yes, you are, you are in the presence of God for the power of God to manifest in your life. 
for Jesus to, to be the real Lord, to show forth himself. Jesus show forth himself. All that struggle between you and enemy forces, that battle between you and enemy forces, the Lord is on your side. Receive the victory. Receive the victory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Javan, I am praying for your children. You want to do something special in their lives. You want to use them. Oh, Lord, bestow the grace upon them. Bestow the grace upon them. Bestow the grace upon them. Let them be useful. Let them receive the grace. Let them receive the power to become useful in the hands of God. All those dryness, all those emptiness, Father, no more. God, no more. Drive them away from their life. In Jesus' name. Yes. The Lord is ready to do everything in your life. All matters of sin. He will take away sin from your life. The Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 1. I read from verse 21. Matthew chapter 1. Verse 21. Yes. Righteousness shall be your portion. Righteousness shall be your portion. Just be receiving it as I'm talking now. Be receiving it. Be receiving your power, your freedom. Be receiving the deliverances. Be receiving your miracles. Yes. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall serve his people from their sins. He shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. In the book of Romans chapter 8, I read verse 3 and verse 4. Romans chapter 8, verse 3 and verse 4. The Bible tells us here, Saying, for what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. People could not practice righteousness because of the power of sin. But Jesus came for sin and has destroyed the power of sin. Now he has poured righteousness upon you. You will go and sin no more. You will go and sin no more. All those anger in your heart, hatred in your heart, malice, darkness of the heart, the power of immorality that will not let you go. Masturbation that has have a strong grip over your life. They're giving way today by the power of the blood of Jesus. They're giving way. Let righteousness look down upon your life. Oh Lord, look down. Open your people. Put lay hand upon yourself. I'm praying for you now. Almighty Father, oh Lord, my God. These people came for righteousness. I must not go empty. Oh Lord, I'm praying. Let the blood of Jesus do a cleansing work in their lives. In the name of Jesus. Break the power of sin in their lives. Break the power of sin in their lives. Oh Lord, change their hearts. Take away iniquity from their lives. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray. The Lord wash your heart. The Lord wash your heart from all the deaths of sin. Be delivered from the deaths of sin. Oh God, I am praying the power of immorality. 
the power of immorality, that sinful thought, grabbing their heart, handling their minds, attaching himself to them, that sinful thought, I cast you down, I cast you down, I cast you down to the obedience of Jesus. Get her from their lives. I rebuke you from their lives. In the name of Jesus. Lord divine. God divine. Deliver them from the power of immorality. I break the power. You immorality. Immoral spirit. You sexual spirit. I bind you in their lives. I bind you in their lives. I say get her from their lives. Come out from their mind. Come out from their bodies. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now sanctify them. Jesus, sanctify them. Thank you, Father. Yes, whomsoever the Lord shall set free, he shall be free indeed. When Jesus, the Son, sets a man free, he is free indeed. Man, be free from your sins. Be free, woman. I lose you from your sin. In the name of Jesus. 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 Be free. Rejoice. The Lord has met you free. The Lord has met you free. Freedom from fear. You have been under the bondage of fear. What's causing you to be afraid actually? You are afraid in the day. You are afraid in the night. You are fearing you will die. You are fearing some harm will come to you. You are fearing some evil will fall upon you. You are afraid. That spirit of fear is not from God. But the Bible tells us God has not given us the spirit of fear. But the spirit of love, the spirit of power and of sound mind. And now the command of God comes to you. I read it, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. The Lord is saying, verse 10 and 11, Fear thou not, for I, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were in sins against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee, shall be as nothing and as a thing of none. Just raise up your hand. We're dealing with that power of fear. That power of fear. All Lord divine. They are your children. No, you have not given us fear. Fear is oppressive. Fear makes the people not to have faith. Fear makes the people to sin. Therefore, Lord, I am praying. Oh God, remove fear from their lives. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. You spirit of fear, I command you by the Lord. Get out from the light. I rebuke you from the light. By the authority of God, they shall leave this place without fear anymore. Oh Lord, let the Holy Ghost come upon them. Let the spirit of boldness come upon them. Let the love of God fill their hearts. Let their minds be clear. All those thoughts, all those imaginations of death, of harm, of enemy, whatever, that is considered fear. I command those thoughts, death in their lives. I rebuke those thoughts out of their lives. Come out from their life. Come out from their life. You spirit of fear, I take authority over you. I overcome you in Jesus' name. I overcome you in Jesus' name. I rebuke you out of their life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Yes. 
I told you, the Lord is going to solve all your problems. All sicknesses in your body are living now. All sicknesses. All power of sicknesses. Anything swollen in your body. Oh, when they're going to operate, now will die. Oh, this one will do one. Oh, diabetes is going to kill me. Hypertension. Whatever it is, kidney problem, liver problem, bladder problem, reproductive problem, whatever it is, my brother, healing is coming. My sister, healing is coming. Listen to what the Lord has said. I am reading Isaiah chapter, uh, Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. Jeremiah chapter 30, I read verse 17. Hey, the Lord is saying, for I will restore health unto you. The Lord is saying, he will restore health unto you. Sickness has made you an old man now. He will restore health unto you. Yes, he says, so. and I will heal thee of thy wounds. Those cancerous wounds. The Lord will heal you. Also in your body. The Lord will heal you. I will heal thee of your wound. Where you have been wounded by the enemy. The Lord will heal you. Because they call thee an outcast. Say, this is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. The Lord will change the circumstance of your life. In the book of Isaiah, Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 6. Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 6. Again. The Lord is saying, Behold, I will bring it health and cure. The Lord will bring to you health and cure. Receive it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring health to you now. Receive in the name of Jesus. That's what the Lord has promised. Lay hand upon yourself. The Lord has promised health for you. The Lord has promised health for you. The Lord said he will restore you to hell. The Lord said he will bring healing to you. The Lord said he will bring healing. Oh Lord, divine answer. 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 Take away that sickness. Let it disappear. Take away that swelling thing. Let it disappear. Heal that wound. Let it be cured. Oh Lord, do it. In the eyes, do it. In the brain, do it. In the tongue, do it. In the stomach, do it. In the bloodstream, do it. In the food, do it. In the liver, heal them. In the kidney, heal them. In the bladder, heal them. In the reproductive system, heal them. Oh Lord, take away sickness. Take away sickness. Take away diseases. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Healing among you. Receive. Angels are distributing healing. Angels are distributing healing. Angels are distributing healing. Every cancerous problem disappear. Every diabetes, diabetes disappear. Liver synopsis disappear. Yes, I command you. Barrenness disappear. I command you by the power of God. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. All pain in your womb, pain everywhere. I command cure unto you. You are cure. You are cure. The Lord has done it. He has restored your health. Everywhere around. Everywhere around. Everywhere around. Healing everywhere. Healing everywhere. Amen. That is your promise. That is what your God has said he will do to you. And he has done it. Deliverance from satanic power. Hallelujah. Amen. Your shall be broken. That demon that came from you from who? That demon that has been operating in the house. You will not see it there anymore. Amen. I say you will not see it there anymore. Amen. That demon in your body shall not be there anymore. Amen. Fire. Amen. I come on fire. Amen. Let the fire of God take over that place. Let the fire of God take over the place. Let the fire of God take over the place. Oh Lord, let your angels come down. Battle against demons. Battle against demons. Battle against demons. Destruction over demons. Get 
I got from the place where the power go. I bang your spirit up on water. You mommy. I said, get out. I said, get out. Get out from the people of God. Get out. I command you out to become crown. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the lives of the little children. I command liberty upon them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of Psalm. Psalm 18. Yes. God is your deliverer. God is your deliverer. Psalm 18. Something is happening already. Hallelujah. Yes. The Bible tells us in verse 17 of Psalm 18. Psalm 18. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them who hated me for they were too strong for me. Yes, they're too strong for you. Where are you? The enemy, the, the enemy will be gone. Higher power. Higher power. Stronger than Satan. Satan became too strong for you. Hey. And Jamaica bound the devil. He shall bind him and cast into him into bottomless pits. Which means if in Jamaica can bind the devil, Satan himself, and cast him into bottomless pit, what about Jesus? What about Jesus, creator? Now, for your information, Jesus said I should bind him. Jesus said I should bind the devil. For this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Yes. Just raise up your hand where you are. I'm dealing with the devil. Oh Lord, by that power you gave me, I bind the devil in the land. I bind the devil surrounding the camp. Holy this revival movement, not, I mean, not Carolina. I bind that devil. All the demons in the families of his people. I Bind those demons. Now I'm casting you out. Get out. By the word of God. Get out. By the instruction of Jesus. Get out. From their lives. You oppressive demon. Get out. You power of witchcraft. I break your power. I destroy your power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I Bind the spirit of epilepsy, the spirit of confusion, the spirit of madness. I bind that spirit. Get out. Lose those people. You cannot be there anymore. I overcome you by Jesus. I overcome you by Jesus. I overcome you by Jesus. I overcome the packet. We're going now. I overcome you by Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I break your power. Command you to get up from those your, your, your agents. Now, all the power you gave your agents, all the power you transferred to your agents, I destroy them. Oh Lord, judge them. Every agent submit or you'll be judged. I say, judge me on your life. 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 Break your power. I destroy everything of the devil and you will suffer for it. That you accepted to be an agent of the devil. To come and scatter this program. Fire on you. You will be judged. You will go home with judgment. You will go home with judgment. You will go home with judgment. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everybody give a clap of free to Jesus over there. Yes. Divine protection is your own. From coronavirus. The Bible tells us. 
The Bible tells us in the book of Job, Job chapter 1. I read verse 8. Job chapter 1, verse 8. A dialogue between God and Satan. The Bible says, and the Lord said unto Satan, as thou considered my, my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that feared God and extruded evil. Let's read verse 9 together. One to go. Then Satan answered the Lord. And say that Job feared God for not the stain. Has thou no, has not thou made an hate about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hand, and his substance is increased in the land. Divine protection. The Lord has built an hedge round about Job. The Lord is going to build a protection round about your life, round about your family, round about your children, round about the works of your hand. Satan will not be able to have access. I'm praying for you now. Just put lay hand upon yourself, that fortunate man that has known Jesus. That fortunate man that has known Jesus. Almighty Father, I am praying for your children. Yes, they traveled all around America, even from Canada, from Jamaica, to come. Yes, to meet together in your presence. Now it is a reward I'm pouring upon them. There shall no coronavirus be named after their family. All of the world. You will protect them as you protected Job. As you protected all that belong to Job. God, put your protection upon them. We remember like Daniel in the day of the lions. That you shut up their mouth. Oh Lord, shut up their enemies. In Jesus' name, shut up their enemies. That even we, they walk through the valley of the shadow of death. They shall not fear because you are with them. Your protection is with them. Oh Lord, let not the fire of Nebuchadnezzar burn them. Not even their clothes. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. Divine protection. In Jesus' name, receive. Yes, your heart desire. What do you want? What actually do you want? Elijah was taken away from, was to be taken away from Elisha. And he said, Elisha, I've seen your zeal. I've seen your commitment. You went with me from place to place until we are right here. <clears throat> Actually, I can see that something is in your heart. What do you want? What do you desire? The Lord is asking you. I am so happy because it is done for you. He said, you have traveled all the way to North Carolina. The head quarters of holiness revival movement in America. What do you want? Jesus is asking you this. He's standing by you. Lift up your eyes to him and tell him what you want. It's like King Atazaxix that was asking Nehemiah, of what does thou make request? Mm. What is your request? 
Nehemiah immediately prayed and said, God, give me my request. If you don't know what to ask, ask God to tell you what you should ask. So, what do you want? Because it will be done unto you. The Lord will grant it. I don't know, but the Lord knows, and you know. God said, tell me. I'm giving you a little time to be thinking it out. If you want to write it down so that you won't forget, write it down because you will glorify the Lord. Amen. The Lord shall be glorified in your life. Testimony shall follow. I worship the Lord. Lord, we worship. God, we honor you. We adore you. Thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, we pray. Almighty Father, your children have told you what they want. And you say in your word, in the book of Psalm 87, God, you talk something there about what you can do concerning the desires of your children. Now, they are presented. Every man their desire. Go answer according to your promise. Psalm 37, verse 4 and verse 5. Verse 4 to verse 6. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Just rejoice. Love the Lord. Celebrate that thing has been granted. Hannah had received her desire. Celebrate. Yes. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Amen. That thing you will see it with physical eye. You will see it with your physical eye. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noon day. That is what the Lord is promising you. He shall bring forth your righteousness. The truth about you, your innocency in the matter, the Lord shall show it. O oh Lord, answer them in Jesus' name. Grant them their desire in Jesus' name. I worship you, Father, and thank you. Let your name be exalted. Let your name be praised. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Bible says in Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. It says, Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Now, receive your desire. In Jesus' name. Believe it. In Jesus' name. Accept it in your heart. Confess, I have received it. Just be saying it. Be saying it aloud. Be saying it now. I have received it. I have received it. I have received my desire. God has done my desire. God has provided my desire. Be, be saying it. Be saying it. God has granted my desire. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for doing it. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, God has done it. God has done it. God has done it. God has done it for you, brother. God has done it. God has done it for you, sister. The Lord has done it. He has given you your desire. You are happy, full of joy now. God has answered your own heart. He has done it for you, brother. God has done it. God has done it. He has done it for you, sister. God has done it. God has done it. You will share your testimony. Hallelujah! You will share your testimony. In Jesus' name, we pray. Yes. What about your children? 
The Lord is promising something about your children. The Lord is giving you a promise. He's telling you that justice shall come to your children. The peace of God shall come to your children. Stubborn children. Demons have troubled them. Believe God in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah, I read chapter 54. Yay! Isaiah. The Bible is promising great things for your children. It's promising great things for your children. Isaiah 54, verse 13. And all thy children shall be taught of the law. And great shall be the peace of thy children. Claim it. Tell God, answer this one. Open your mouth and pray now. Everybody, tell God, answer this one. Oh Lord, my children. Call them by name. Call them by name. Call them by name. Oh Lord Jesus. Jesus, my child. My child. Answer this on my child. Let my children be taught of the Lord. Oh Lord, my child. Oh God. The world has spoiled. Children have become demons. But Lord, you promise me of my child. Lord, perform it. Perform it. Salvation upon my children. Salvation upon my children. Salvation upon my children. My children shall be taught of the Lord. Oh Lord, take over their lives. God, take over their lives. Oh my Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh Lord divine, follow them to their children. Do miracles. Send your angels to the families of your children. And let them touch the lives of their children of, of their children and change them and give them salvation. Make them born again. Give them a new heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the children come to fellowship. When I do Bible study with Americans, I don't see their children. Father, I pray I will see them now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Now get ready. We're going to battle for your child. Your child is initiated. Your child is in witchcraft. Your child is in Illuminati. Your child has joined occultism. Power is coming to wrestle among over the demons. Power is coming. The Lord himself is sending power. Breaking every yoke around your child. That demon, those human beings that are teaching wickedness to your children, the Lord shall deal with them. The Lord shall slay them. They shall drink their own blood. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 49. Isaiah chapter 49. I read Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 to 26. The Lord says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? Hey, your child was willing to join them. So he is a lawful captive. And those people are mighty people, strong people, American witchcraft. They are mighty. Hey, Illuminati, mighty. They have gotten a prey, but the Lord is making a promise. Hmm. Believe the Lord who resurrected Jesus from the grave the third day. Believe the Lord who sent his angel to roll away the storm from the grave of Jesus. Believe the Lord who caused water to come from the rock. Believe the Lord who said, who said, I shall say to this mountain, 
be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt it in it in his heart, but shall believe that those things is which he said shall come to pass, he shall whatsoever he said. Believe the Lord. But thus hear the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will set the children. Say amen. Say amen. He will fight with him that fights with you. And he's going to serve your children. That stubborn child, the Lord has given you a promise. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, I am thy Savior, thy and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Amen. Child, the Lord will serve you. Amen. Child, the Lord will bring you out of darkness. Amen. Child, the Lord will change your heart. Wherever the devil has taken your heart to, he's coming back from there. It shall enter back into you. Hallelujah. Worship. God will thank you. Do it, Lord. Comfort the parents. Lord, they are your children. These are the days of the end time. The battle is fought. Satan does not want salvation in any family. He wants to oppress the people. He wants your children to be sorrowful. He wants your children to be crying because of the little children you gave them. Oh, Lord. Come to their help. Jesus, come to their help. Perform this as you have said. Over their lost children. Some have disappeared. They cannot even know where they are. They are bursting over American independence at the age of 18. Oh Lord, do something now. Jesus, do something now. In the name of Jesus. Right now, by the power of God, every society, these children are in every group. These children have, have joined. By the power of the Lord, I break that group. I break up that group. The Lord conquers that group. The Lord conquers that group. The Lord destroys the powers of that group. In the name of Jesus. Wherever that child belongs, may the Lord lose him. I command that child to be set loose. Child, come back to your senses. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All those demons that you have swallowed in, in your heart, I destroy them in your heart. I destroy them in your heart. That heart of a snake, I kill it. Get out from the life of that child. Almighty, power upon them. Power upon every child. Power to set them free. Power to break their yokes. Power to bring them back to their senses. Power to make them obey their parents. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Worship. Thank you, Jesus. Marriage for the single. Marriage for the single. Marriage for the widow, widower. You want to marry? The Lord will give you a wife. You want to marry? The Lord will give you a husband. Sufficient husband. Sufficient wife. The type of wife, every day you wake up, you will say, God, I'm very grateful. Every day that you wake up, you will say, God, I am grateful. You will be thanking God for your husband. Say, God, you mean this man is my husband? Hey, Jesus, you are special. That wife is coming to you now. Amen. That husband is coming. Amen. It is your portion. In the name of Jesus. Yes, the Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7, I read verse 7 
to verse 11. It goes, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or oh, what man is there of you? Whom, whom, if his son asks bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, <coughs> being evil, <coughs> know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Yes. That's what the Lord is saying. Good things are coming. Now for you, you're all you're saying, I have married already, but I married wrongly. The Lord shall make the wrong good. The Lord shall make the wrong good. I am praying for a new wife. From that woman, a new wife shall come out. For the Lord shall change the engine of that woman. The Lord shall change the engine and change the paint of that man. He will paint that man bright and put a new engine. Everything overhauled. And when you enter in, you say, this is a new person. It's a new vehicle. Your wife shall be a new vehicle. You will be so, in fact, people will be saying, hey, when did you marry this woman? It is as a man painted his car, did everything, changed everything new. And they thought it's a new car, but it's an old one. That is how your wife shall be. That is how your husband shall be. Everybody raise up your hand. Mirror. Ah, my God. Miracle. It is time to do miracle. Miracle, oh Lord. It's God that sent the quails to the children of Israel that they should eat meat. They had a bonder. They didn't know where they would get it from. Want to eat flesh? Want to eat flesh? And the Lord said, go and tell them they will eat flesh. Ha! Huh? Moses said, where, where even we kill all the cattle? Will they have? Then God saying this thing. Don't go by your side. Don't go by your feeling. A wife is coming to you. A husband is coming to you. Receive. In the name of Jesus. Wherever that woman is, appear. Wherever that man is, appear. Whether you are in Africa, you are in Asia, you are in, 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 in Europe, in America, everywhere. Appear. 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 In Jesus' name. Receive a husband from the Lord. Receive the wife from the Lord. It is not too late. The Lord will not allow it to be too late in your life. Your husband is there for you. That one behave well. Go and live well. The husband is coming. Go and live well. Your wife is coming. I'm talking to you, widow. You can marry. The Lord will make you marry. Widow, you can marry. The Lord will make you marry. The Lord open your eyes to see her. May the Lord open your eyes to see him. In Jesus' name, we pray. Oh, Lord, overhaul the old car. Put a new engine in it. Put a new tire that will not disappoint in the long journey. God, change the paint. Let it look new. Oh, Lord, do it for the families. Do it for the husbands of their children. Do it for the wives of your children. Even husbands and wives in Holy Mo. Even husbands and wives in Holy Mo. Change them. Change them. Change them. Change them. Power of God. Change them. Visit families. Change them. Change them. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let the Lord appear to them. In Jesus' name. We pray. Let the family enjoy peace and prosperity. Let love rule in the family for husband, wife, and children. Thank you, Father. Take away the hatred. In Jesus' name, we pray. Prosperity, success, job availability, school opportunity. Businesses, getting your papers, everything are abundant for you. Just put, I mean, raise up your hand, the two hands, as when you're collecting something big from the Lord. 
Glory to your name. I'm pouring out the blessings of God. The blessings of God. They are coming upon you. Yes. Blessings. Your name is even blessing. You will receive double. Blessing. The blessings of God. The Bible tells us. Yes. I'm pouring them upon your life now. Yes. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Where there was a closed door to you, that door is open. That door is open. Where did the devil close it from the village? I say right in that village, Whatever was bound on you was has been loosed in Jesus' name. Anyone that has spoken a curse over you, that curse is removed. Amen. Receive it now. I say, receive it now. I'm decreeing it now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Hallelujah. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, 28, I read from this one. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thou be in America. Say amen to that. Yes. And blessed shall thou be when you visit your country. Yes. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. Your children shall be blessed a new thing shall happen to them. And blessed shall be the fruit of your ground. All your labor shall be blessed. Yes. And the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy car, and the flocks of thy sheep, all your business, the Lord bless them. Blessed shall be the fruit. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy stone. You will have much to save. Blessed shall thou be when thou comest in. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Your movement all around shall be blessed. The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in thy storehouses and in all that thou settest thine hand unto. And he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. The Lord shall establish thee as an holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee. If thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. And thou shalt, uh, and they shall be afraid of thee. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods, in prosperity, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy ground, in the land which the Lord swear unto thy father to give thee. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven, to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thine hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall meet thee, the head 
and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day, to observe and to do them. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the ways which I command thee this day, to the right hand, not to the left, to go after other gods, to serve them. Now it is done. The blessings of the Lord rest upon you. The peace of the Lord rest upon you. The righteousness of the Lord cover your life. The joy of Jesus bring out of you. Your tongue should sing the goodness of the Lord. Receive strength, the Lord has healed you. Receive healing, the Lord has set you free. Receive freedom, you are no more afraid. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for doing it for your children. Until next year conference, be sure I will be there. Everything will be done early by the grace of God. I'm going to get my visa this year. There shall be no problem next year. In Jesus' name we pray. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land and in the sea. Hallelujah. Is a portion go with you, rejoice. Forevermore, the Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forever on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the city, on the mountain. In the valley, on the land, and in the sea, hallelujah. Forevermore, the Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good. Choir, I want you to sing it up, Billy. On the mountain, in the valley, on the... I like your dress. And in the... On the mountain, in the valley, on the land. And in the sea, let the choir sing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I'm sure every coordinator is happy. Yes, rejoice. The Lord has blessed you. Nobody is going empty handed. The Lord has filled you. <laughs> The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, 
contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe.
purchased me with your blood. You are my Lord and my Savior. You left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin. I believe